open the all right testing one two three one two three so i believe i set this up where it works where you guys should be able to hear the music from the game and you should be able to hear me on this mic it's not muted that's right okay so i've gotten the thumbs up i think we're good to go so i'm just gonna go ahead and start um welcome to the tech control uh channel here so flight sim what can i say about this game um predates windows itself made by uh microsoft so um full disclosure this game has been out for about 11 months now and it finally came to a console we've been waiting or at least i have anybody that knows me will tell you that i'm a huge airplane fan guy whatever i i'm no pro or expert by any means but um i'm not a beginner or a novice or anything like that i'm i'm slightly advanced maybe intermediate when it comes to this type of stuff but believe me this takes years uh, um, and many practice hours to, to master down and I'm nowhere near that. So, uh, what I figured we'll do is, um, hop on the game. It just came out on Xbox consoles, series X and series S. I believe it's also coming to the Xbox one in a future date. I'm not exactly sure on what the date is, but the way they were able to do it, because let's be honest, this game um pretty much it, it is the benchmark for um pcs right now it, it, high-end pcs have a hard time running this game so um they really they they only could really get this on the xbox series consoles the s and the x um and the way that they're bringing it over to the one is that um they're basically going to stream it over x cloud so i think it's a good idea uh pretty cool so here we are. Um, I, I I tell you this this game is so realistic. It looks really nice. Um, here is the world currently, as we are, um, or is it? Yeah, two a.m. or something like that. Well, that's a bit weird. Let me, is it two a.m.? Okay, okay, whatever. So here's the world. You can pretty much zoom in on any part, and then you're able to see like what airports or if it's a. Um, um, if it's a point of interest, you know, anything like that, which is kind of cool. So you can see that this part of the world is dark and then this part is not. So let me see. Let's go to the U.S. If I could find it, there's Africa, there's South America. Here it is. Okay. So lots of points of interest, lots of airports over in the U.S. Let's, let's go with something over on the East Coast. But before I do, actually, I want to make sure that it's uh, it's more daylight. Oh, am I going the right way? Let me see. Okay, that works. So 2 p.m. on the East Coast, if I'm reading this correctly. Well, there's daylight, so I guess I am. What I want to do is, is just try a quick flight. You know, nothing crazy. Let's do... Uh, Let's leave from Philly and let's try and get to, I don't know, uh, LAX or um, not LAX. That's too far of a flight. JFK. So JFK is going to be the arrival. Now, full disclosure, I have messed with this just a little bit. I mean, again, it just came out today on console. So how much could I have messed with it? Um, enough to learn very few basics. I'm still learning the controllers themselves. And uh, full disclosure, I have not been able to land yet because I keep crashing um, nowhere near an airport, just at random scenarios. So <laughs> let's see if we can get to a successful takeoff and landing. Let's see. I want to get to a gate. No, that's parking. No, 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 no. Give me a gate. Give me a gate. Okay. All right. Let's go with gate 60. Why not? Um, and then we're going to land runway 31 left. Sure. But I want to get to gate. Gate C. 
Gate C. I don't know. All right, A1. Steak sauce. All right, so it looks like it's 25 nautical miles. Am I reading that right? Or one or two nautical miles, 25 minute flight. Okay. <laughs> I was experimenting with the big jumbo. I am not ready for that. Let's try um, an Airbus A320 Neo. Anybody? Um, uh, well, I don't know uh, uh, about anybody, but for me, um, one of my favorite airplanes is this Airbus 320, specifically the 321. It's the newer model. Inside, they have nice uh, DVDs or, or touch screens that you can pick your movie and all that. So I'm a big fan of the Airbus 320s. Um, and then if you go here, you can actually select different color paint styles, different um, um, airlines, I guess, would be. Uh, but I don't know if they have them all. Like, here's Orbit. Uh, and then just different paint jobs. Like, here's one for Xbox, which is kind of cool. Let's go with this uh, green. I like this. This green. Okay. You can adjust the, the weight, the balance, and stuff like that. Really cool. Um, if you want failures. So, uh, again, for me, full disclosure, everything is on easy. I think the only thing that I have on hard is the actual control of the plane. Uh, I'm co controlling that 100%. But I've been having a lot of trouble with the autopilot as well as... Um, the trim, it, it, for some reason, the trim just wants to act really wild with me. So let me see if I can set that to automatically uh, adjust the trim for me. What's the flight number? I don't need that. Okay. I think. Where are the settings? Settings, settings, settings. All right. They're somewhere in here. Hmm. Sure, that's fine. Is it here? Oh, I just initiated the flight. Okay. Uh, also, <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done this, but I started downloading like some free airplanes and and world maps and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> literally just before I started the stream, I, they were free, so I said why not. But then I realized that they they actually slow down the game quite a bit. Um, so it feels a bit laggy right now. Uh, definitely wasn't like that earlier before uh, I started downloading everything. So, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully everything is still just as fast, at least while we're flying. All right. So here's the airport. It's giving us like a quick recap. It's 3 p.m. right now. Visibility is good. Wind is uh, light. Okay, we're going to be flying uh, 455 knots, uh, max altitude, wow, it's, uh, almost 40,000, okay. This is a really green plane. <laughs> okay, let's, I still want to try and adjust the settings because like I said, I, I keep, okay, I think I could do it here. We are currently inside the cockpit, right? Why is it not working for me? Okay, here we go. So, no, not the toolbar, not the checklist. Oh yeah, I'm I'm probably not gonna go through any checklist or anything like that. I mean, we'll see. All right, so takeoff speed is 137. Landing is uh, 200 and stall is 154. So we can't go below 154. Here it is. AI auto trim. Definitely going to need that, at least for now. Because uh, it, it's weird. I set it to one thing and then it's like I look away and I come back and it's something else. I, I'm not really sure what's going on there. I probably got to do some more of the tutorials and, the, and more training and stuff like that. Um, but okay. Yes, yes. It wants me to do the checklist. All right, fine. Let's do a quick checklist. Oh, I also have the, again, everything is pretty much on easy. I have auto everything. Um, it's definitely um, like the, the air traffic controller, the game will speak to ATC for me. 
Uh, I don't have to do anything. I pretty much just have to listen for the most part. And I think I even engaged, um, like, for it to tell me exactly where, where to go while I'm taxiing. So I think I'm okay. Let's go ahead and start the engine. Yeah, you see, he's already talking to ATC for me. Clearly a robot voice. Said seven thousand feet. Engage. Gauge select. Okay. So here's my plane. Alright, so he's just requesting pushback right now. Um, you see the, the the truck is get is lining up to push the plane back. So I gotta disengage the auto brake, which I've done. It's giving me a nice little uh check at the top right which is kind of cool so now i'm just waiting for this thing to you know set itself up align itself and set me into place but i don't think i have where it's gonna tell me where to go hold on display direction yes display landing and taxes yes i need that ai piloting no i'm gonna try and fly this myself Uh, by the way, if if we land successfully, which is the goal, then great. I'm I'm ending off this this stream in a good note. But if we do crash and burn and 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 not make it, <laughs> I'm still gonna cancel this the stream at that point. All right. So you see, he's pushing me back. If you'd like to see the cockpit view, uh, there it is. Really nice. So look outside. The end of pushback there. So I pretty much got to wait until he's out of the way. It looks like he sort of is. I don't know if he's going to keep moving, but let's see. All right. So right now they're giving us clearance to taxi onto the runway. And, and um, I didn't write any of that down, the directions, but... Um, that's why I put these, uh, these arrows here to tell me because I definitely, um, I don't remember them. Like I said, I'm, I'm by no means a pro at this, but I guess that's the point of the game, isn't it? For you to sort of learn and, and, and gain experience. I mean, it's better to mess up here in a flight sim than, you know, up there. So, I'm slowly, maybe a little bit too slow, starting to push uh, or taxi my way um, according to the arrows. You can see both engines are on. I'm pushing extremely slow because it's a semi-big plane. Not as big as the Airbus. What was it, the 380 or something I was messing with earlier? Forget that. That was huge. Um, but okay. So... Now, uh, the general rule of thumb is not to go over 15 knots when you're taxiing. Right now, I'm about 7, maybe increasing. There it is, 8, 9. So, it, speed is definitely increasing, 10. When I get to uh, 14, 13, 14, I'm going to start to slow it down. Always make sure to look. There are no planes right now. Did I engage... Uh, you know planes in the menu i don't remember i'm at 13 knots i'm going to slow the engine down a bit slow it down to about 30 percent uh maybe a little too low there i don't want it to keep uh climbing 10 knots yeah definitely going slower okay let's go 35 percent 
30. Let's see what this does. Okay, 40%, we're at 10 knots. And again, the goal here is just to taxi our way onto the runway safely. All right, so I'm gonna stop at every um, at every stop that we're supposed to, and then we're supposed to look out for any planes that might be either on the runway or oncoming. But I don't, I don't think I enabled planes. Uh, so I'm not sure if we're even gonna have planes on here. I'm not sure, but uh, what's pretty cool is that you can enable like live planes and um, you know, you can jump into servers where people are uh, actual people at ATC, not the real ATC over at, um, probably should have stopped there. All right, let's stop right here. Let's just take a look. No planes coming. No planes on the runway. I think we're okay to proceed. Let's push up to maybe 45%. Oh, too strong. All right, going about eight knots right now. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, yeah, you can have live planes on here. You can have like uh, AI planes and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I enabled it to be honest, but looking at this airport that's pretty dead, and it's the Philly airport, which should be nice and live. It's, it's, uh, it makes me think that I didn't enable it. So sorry about that. I'll try and do it next time. And again, listen, this is flight simulator. This is like as close as possible to the real thing as you're going to get. So me, look at that. I'm already over speeding at the, at the airport. Me uh, pushing back, um, you know, at this slow pace and things like that might seem slow to us, you know, if you're just sitting there watching. But this is like actually how fast a plane would move. And anybody that's been um, on a plane, which I believe most of us have, will, uh, everybody knows that that's, that's exactly how slow um, it feels anyway before you get to to the actual takeoff point which we're about to hit right now looks like we're on the runway i'm slowly turning but i'm also reducing speed a little bit because i want to line up exactly so he's about to ask for departure clearance atc is going to give it come on get there all right two seven left is the runway i'm on they just cleared me for takeoff I'm confirming what they said. All right. Up till now, this has been pretty smooth. No issues so far. I'm just going to stop short as soon as I line it up so that we can get a nice uh, takeoff. All right. Two, 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 two. All right. Stop, stop, stop. Am I on the line? Yeah, I'm pretty close. If not, I can fix it while I'm running down the runway. All right. You guys ready for this? Here we go. Engines full power. Let's go. This is a short flight. Like I said, we, we I really just want to <laughs> see if I can actually land. But landing, uh, uh, well, landing isn't so much the problem. I just haven't gotten to a airport. All right, so we're going to wait to hear the audio V1. V1 is the point of no return. I have to take off at that point. I'm still gaining speed. It's telling me to lift off, but I'm going to wait. Actually, I see the end of the runway, so let's just take off. We never got V1. All right. So we are off. And I'm going to raise the gear. I'm going to lower that so you guys can see it go up. And gear is up. I might be climbing a little too steep. Okay. Look at that. I'm already stalling. Why? Why am I stalling? 
Okay, stall warning went away. Looks like I fixed it. I might have been climbing too steeply. I think that's all it really was. So, again, by no means am I a pro, but, um, you know, just for those of you that don't know what a stall is, basically when there isn't enough um, air flowing through the wings, through under the wings, um, um, you don't generate enough lift. And what happens is the plane, if it's not lifting, it's going to fall or it's going to stall. In other words, uh, not all stalls are unrecoverable, but, you know, you definitely don't want to be in one. So there's the airport behind me. We are climbing to flight level. I think they told us, what did they say? 7,000, that's what it's set to. So I think the autopilot pretty much took over by now. Uh, I did engage the autopilot, but who knows if it's on or not. Why is the plane dipping? Okay, autopilot does not want to engage. For whatever reason, I thought it was on. Alright, let's start climbing again. Let's take another look at this. It's so weird. Every time I let go and go into this cursor mode, like, uh, it's, it, it wants to dip for whatever reason. Okay, let's see... Hey, Brady, thanks for the support. Shout out to you, man. All right, this is the auto throttle is currently on. Let's see. Let's get closer. Autopilot. Let's turn that on. Here we go. Do I need to turn on the second autopilot? I'm not sure. I should have taken some more training. Engage autopilot 2. Oh, oh, oh. Just different autopilots. Okay. That's fine. So, I was supposed to be following, I think, the direction of the airport, which the airplane is trying to now correct because I never turned. So, that's fine. And as you can see, the autopilot significantly slowed down the uh, engines down to what? 70%, 72%, 75%. Okay, they're starting to pick back up. I guess when you're turning, it needs a little bit of less power. I guess that makes sense. You do brake in a car when you turn. Okay. But. Yeah. Okay, okay. So this is good. So you see what I did? Uh, I see the Philadelphia airport in front of me. All right. Um, so we basically just made a turn and we're going to circle back on our way towards, uh, JFK, I believe. JFK is off a little bit to the left over there. So I wonder why I'm flying directly over, uh, Philly International. I shouldn't. All right. But either way, if you see the, uh, the altitude, um, the the autopilot is trying to get me up to 7,000 feet because that's what I told the plane that I needed to get to. Once we get to 7,000, most likely um, um, the AI is going to contact Tower and let them know that we're there. And we're going to ask for clearance to go even higher. Let's see. All right, let's go inside. I, I, I kind of like this view. Okay. Makes me feel like an actual pilot. So, at this point, I mean, everything is set. We're heading in the right direction, I believe. Or I'm actually not sure on that one. Um, speed is 250. Sure. I feel like we should be turning a little bit more left. I don't know why it's... Let me try turning left a little bit myself. Because I feel like we're a little bit too over the airport. <laughs> yeah, you see, it's, it's automatically correcting the left I just made. And now it's going a little bit to the right. But fine. 
What I wish I could see is a map of the path that I need to take. Which, is that it? No, but that's the VFR map. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, you guys can't even see it because uh, my face is in the way. Let me try and get this out the way. Hold on. Uh, where can I put myself? Mm. I was over here. Yeah, I'll throw myself here. So you should be seeing this map. I'm wondering if maybe that line is the uh, line I was supposed to be on. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Okay. So maybe this is why it's veering off to the right because I was supposed to be on that path on the way to JFK and I just was never on it. Okay. I mean, we'll find out once we get to the line, which we're pretty much almost on it. And if it starts turning left, then that makes sense. And then you see a smaller plane uh, just to the right of us. I wonder if I could see it. Let me get out of this. Where is it? Some, oh, we passed it or it passed us already. There it is. So that smaller plane is just coming into uh, Philadelphia to land. That's why it's really low compared to us, which we are so much higher. That's actually really cool that I could see other planes. Now, if this was a real life uh, map, I'm sure we'd see a lot more planes in, than this, especially in the uh, Philadelphia International Airport and 100% uh, for sure over at the Kennedy International. All right, it seems about right. Autopilot is doing his thing. So at this point, the um, the stewardesses and, and, and all that, they're handing out drinks, you know, uh, making coffee, giving out pretzels, you know, Doritos and all that kind of stuff. I guess it really depends on your flight or who your airline is. I personally like to fly uh, JetBlue and they give like blue potato chips, <laughs> which is really weird. They really look purple, to be honest, but... Um, you know, dead blue, blue chips. Why not? What else do they give? Uh, you know, whatever your your flavor of soda is, or water, or coffee. Um, at these altitudes, speaking of altitude, I'm really surprised I didn't get clearance to go higher. It's a bit weird. Let me see if, what's going on with ATC. So. This is basically the transcript. All right, clear to take off. I took off and that was it. Philadelphia Tower J809 Juliet 809 requesting vector to next waypoint. You know what it could be? I might still be on the takeoff frequency. And I'm not sure. I'm really not sure what's going on here. Because that's not in use. This. Oh, they're all the same frequency anyway. Let's do that see what happens yeah I want to go up another uh, 10,000 feet let's see all right for whatever reason Philadelphia is not talking to us anymore most likely because we're probably on the wrong frequency I'm pretty sure <laughs> hey Steven All right, let's turn off ATC for now. There's a camera, not doing checklist. Oh, 
Oh, these are nearby airports. That's cool. Alright, so now that I set the AI to adjust the trim for me, I seem to be doing pretty good. Because before, for some reason, like I said, the trim just wanted to, you know, set the plane uh, straight to the moon. I don't know why. What is this? Weather? Can I change the weather? That is kind of cool. So this is the live weather that it was today at 3.21 p.m. But, oh, that's interesting. You can change the weather at different altitudes. Uh, at 50,000 feet. <laughs> there's, there's no weather up there. 40,000 even. 30,000, uh, you might run into some clouds, thunder clouds maybe, uh, up in the sky. You know, stuff like that. It's not definitely not going to hit the ground. It'll just be up there. Oh, look, there's lightning. This is so cool. You can adjust all this stuff. I'm not going to mess with it right now because, um... I sort of want to get there. I'm I'm a little bit stuck on what's going on with ATC. Am I flying 7,000 feet the whole way? I requested for more altitude. They never gave it to me. And I don't know how to switch. Uh, let me see. Could this be it? Oh, is this probably this one? No. No, it's just more. It's requesting another runway. Altitude increase, decrease. All right, that's weird. So let me just see if I if I make sure I understand correctly. So they gave me clearance to take off. Yeah, they never told me to switch radios or anything like that. They gave me the wind. This is the taxi. Yeah. This is from the ground. Oh, departure frequency 119.7. How do I change it now? One one nine point seven. How do I change it? Is it inside the plane? That that could be it. It might be inside here. All right, let's minimize this for now. Definitely important, but uh, get out of this mode. Okay. One one. Uh, for, I already forgot. One one seven nine. Is that what it was? First, I gotta find it. Where is it in the in this thing? Okay. There's the speed. No. Could this, I think this is it. No, that's that's the same thing on the other side. These are the lights. Here it is. I think I found it. Okay. So, let's go back here. Hold on. Stop it. Okay. Let's go back here. No, it was here, the tower. All right, that's the contact ground. We're ready to taxi. Departure frequency 119.75. 11975. 11975. All right. Down here. 
I cannot see. It's all like an operable. Oh, might be here. There's no way that's it. Oh, come on. One, one, nine. One one nine. How do I get to seven five? Ah, there we go. One one nine. Come on. How do I change it to seven five? Oh, is it this one? No. This one. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Seven five. I might be way out of departures. Uh. Alright, Descent 2000, is that what it's telling us? Alright, so... It said Descent uh, 2000. So, it's doing that. All right, I think it's sending us over there to where it's 10 uh, nautical miles away. And then we're going to cut hard left and land as long as we line it up correctly. We have our gear still up. This is a beautiful plane, I got to say. All right. Nice little flight. All right, so... I don't know, all that time messing with the uh, with the ATC frequency and it automatically changed itself to New York at uh, 126.80. So sure, that's fine. All right, so what the plane is doing now, it's uh, going over water and it's descending to uh, 2,000 feet. Um... You can see over on the right, let me get rid of this. Oh, sorry, I moved the plane, actually. Okay, let me get rid of this. I don't need that. I do want that. Right, so you can see down here, um, this middle part is sort of like where the nose is pointing, is the uh, vertical stabilizer. And it's slightly pointing down, negative uh, 685 right now. So... Um, it's just decreasing 600 
and 85 feet uh, per minute, pretty much. And, and you can see that here. It's just doing it ever so slowly, um, as good as the autopilot is going to do it, which is fine. The trim is adjusted so that the nose stays up, but yet the plane is uh, dropping in altitude. Uh, like I said, this trim for me was not working. Um, flaps are still down, are still uh, at zero degrees. I think we're okay there. Yeah, I think we're okay there. And that's it. So when we get to 2,000 feet... All right, so you see the plane should be turning left and on cue. It's going to turn left because that's what I'm seeing on the uh, VFR map. All right, and then it's just going to line up. You know, so as soon as we turn left, we're going to turn left one more time. We're going to line up with the runway and hopefully we can descend. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> So uh, one of the questions on the chat is, what is this game about? And uh, it's in Spanish, so I'm going to answer him in Spanish. Um, Steven, este juego es de um, volar un avión y es bien realístico. Um, es igual como si en realmente estuviera volando un avión. Uh, all right, so you see, you just told me, AT, uh, not ATC, um, the plane just told me I'm at 2,500. It's adjusting the trim to sort of level off and uh, at 2000 it's going to level off you, you see the uh, the vertical stabilizer is starting to normalize as well um, Steven, el punto mío es para llegar a el aeropuerto internacional de Nueva York y no chocar alright, so I'm approaching 2000 feet I'm way out into the water now. So, if I haven't said it, uh, I'll say it now. Make sure to like and sub to the channel i don't stream too often but i do like to stream uh the occasional thing that interests me um and flight sim is definitely one of them i've been waiting a very long time super jealous that it came out on pc first and had to wait practically a whole year for it to come out on console but it's here now i've already flown to a couple of places like i said haven't really been able to land um but this is this is this is great this is awesome uh and it's it's like you know you play open world games right so it's telling me that there's traffic around me i actually don't see them traffic in front or it's, it's somewhere it's somewhere whatever the ai got it um so you play all these open world games and the thing is you know sure they're big you know but some of them although some can feel lifeless i don't want to get into that right now but um there's always an edge and as as big as this world is as big as the map is there's always an edge and eventually you got to turn back around and head into town or head into wherever you're supposed to go but with this game flight sim there really is no edge you know, it's it's you and the literal world. That's it. It's the actual United States, the actual uh, Europe, the, you know, the, the actual um, um, pyramids of Giza. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's this is the real thing. And, you know, right now it's all nice and, 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 and sunny and all that. But like this has real world weather that you can set if you want. Um, oh, there's the plane. It should be to my right. Is it? That, that might be my shadow. Where is that plane? It's somewhere to my right. Is it above me? 
It's like way out. I don't know why I can't see it. But okay. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. All right. So you see, the autopilot is automatically turning. I feel like I should be a lot higher than what this autopilot is setting me to, but fine. This is a really steep turn, actually. Should have like already turned a while ago, and I still don't see that smaller plane that you know it told me to like watch out for before. Okay, whatever. So these markers up here in red, um, I think that's where I'm supposed to be in theory in order to make this landing. So the plane is automatically lining up for me. I would normally do this, but just to play it safe, I'm going to let the uh, autopilot do it. All right, sure. It's revving the engine up. Maybe I was going a little too slow. All right, so right about this time, we are getting ready to land. I'm going to deploy the landing gears. Look at that beaut. All right, one, two, three. Let's look inside the cockpit. All right, and we should have confirmed three green lights. We do. One, two, three, good. So let's proceed with the landing. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm really just letting the autopilot uh, bring me here. J809, that's me. I'm number two for landing. I'm clear to land runway 31 left. That's most likely the runway that we're lined up with. I'm confirming back with ATC exactly what they reported or what they, they um, the instructions that they gave me. All right, let's take another quick look back. I never actually found that other plane that was supposed to be behind me. All right, I'm not complaining. So here we go. The key thing when landing, although I haven't been able to successfully land, is speed. All right, you don't want to go too fast. You definitely don't want to go too slow. You'll just drop out of the air. Um, let's take a look inside. Let's make sure our flaps, how are our flaps doing? I think the flaps are automatically set. All right, so we're getting a lot closer. You're soon going to start to hear the, uh, the, the, the plane's AI speak. It's just going to call out the distance I am to the floor and the airport uh, in feet. So you're going to hear that. It's going to be like 150, 40, 30 retard. I think that's when you're supposed to like sort of land, I guess. I don't know. Or I don't even know if they say that anymore. I think they just say like 20 and 10 and that's it. All right. So let's go ahead and drop engine speed a little bit. You see, you hear that 500. All right. You see, it's telling me I'm coming in. What? It told me to go around. Probably because I was going too fast. All right. <laughs> this is crazy. So. Let's take a look inside. So 
So it wants me to go 3,000 feet now. I thought the AI would take care of the speed, but now that I think about it, I didn't tell it to, so that's my bad. Probably should have set the speed. Am I also supposed to check the, the flaps? Alright, let's uh, bring up the landing gear. We don't need that just yet. Our landing gear is coming up. It is up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is this thing still, like, seriously climbing? Didn't I tell it 3,000 feet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming. It's still going up. All right, I don't know why. Is the autopilot still on? Maybe that's why. All right, here we go. All right, just turn the autopilot on real quick. I don't know why it was not on. I thought it was, but maybe not. It might have disengaged when they told me to go around. Really weird. Okay, I'm not sure I like this banking angle, but it's all right. Again, this is only day one, so uh, you know, as, as the more I, I play, I'll get better at flying this thing, and, and who knows? You know, maybe I'll hop in the real thing one day, or I'll get my pilot's license. All right, slowing down the engines. Am I already lined up with the runway again? I don't think so. Oh, it could have also given me a different uh, runway. But I don't think so. I don't remember them saying anything about that. <laughs> so for some reason, the plane just kept climbing. So it was telling me that I'm, I was 2,200 feet above where they wanted me to be, which I was. All right, it's taking me to checkpoint chant. All right, let's see this map. All right. Kind of cool that you can make the map bigger. So I'm 3,000 feet right now. This is well above the airport. Um, the ones that are landing are going to be anywhere from 2,000 or lower at, at this particular point. So, I'm not really sure what it's going to have me do. It may ask me to sort of go and then come back around and land.
<laughs> I can't get over this green. All right, so I think that's exactly what it's having me do. Now it's sort of banking, right? Because it's going to have me come back around and then try and line up for another uh, another approach. Amazing view, though. Wow. All right, so again, I was messing with the um, with the jumbo uh, uh, Boeing, not Boeing, the other one. Yeah, yeah, it was Boeing. I was messing with the Boeing um, before, and I, I'm, I sort of got familiar to where all those switches were, and these are just in slightly different places. Not that much different, just a little bit. All right, so I think I need to set it to this one approach. Yeah, the throttle's fine. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. It's yeah, it's going to line me back up. Not here, it's going to have me go around. But maybe we get to see some other planes landing while we're up here. Honestly, at this point, I'm just following the autopilot. We still look good. Uh, can I land? Like, what's going on? ATC. It better not. Oh, okay, okay. So I got to go way out there to come back? Is that what it's doing? Okay, I'm over Brooklyn. I see Barclays. I see uh, Manhattan, which is kind of cool. There's another plane over there. I didn't know you could fly over Brooklyn. I, I know you definitely can't fly over Manhattan, not, not anymore, but um, I didn't know you could fly. Oh, I guess that sort of makes sense. But that's usually why they have you come in from the water, so you're not uh, over any type of of city or, or people in case anything happens or should happen with the plane. It doesn't land on any civilians. It just lands in the water. All right, I think we're back on track. So it's it should... Actually, I'm not sure.
I'm really not sure where it's taking me. I, I've sort of just been going around in a in a holding pattern waiting for ATC to give me clearance to land. But they may not be giving me clearance to land because maybe I'm not lined up correctly. Alright, let's try again. Let's try another approach. Let's go 3-1 left. Alright, so it's cleared me to Delta Papa Kilo. Wish I could like zoom in and out of the map. Good thing I got unlimited fuel on here. <laughs> Don't crash and burn. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> I've been trying to land for like, I don't know, 10 minutes now, maybe. This was supposed to be a short flight. It's not looking good. I want that long runway. Which one is that one? Oh, it's not even that long. Alright, there's four left. Uh, and then over there, that's four right. I don't know. Which way is it going to have me land? I'm so confused. I think I wanted four left, right? Alright, that's what they want. Let's keep at it. I feel like I've done this already. Pretty sure I have. Alright, I sort of want runway 4 left. Seems like it's the longest one. Like ILS runway, four left approach vector. 
Okay. Okay, so... I think it's gonna... I'm not, I'm actually not sure anymore. I'm like debating if I should just turn off autopilot and try and land. So this runway here is the one, let me try and show you. I want this runway cause it's pretty long, right? And I need the most space I, I can get basically. Cause I haven't been able to land yet. Now, again, I haven't made it to an airport. I think that's part of the problem. But. Alright, what's it doing? <laughs> oh, did it just disengage autopilot? It did. Alright, so it just disengaged autopilot. Let's turn it back on. That's that's what that little warning was. All right, so this should be leveling out. Like I don't see why it's still heading out. All right, let's forget autopilot. Let's us do this. All right, what I'll do, I'll just come right around and then let's see. Just going to go a little bit wide here. Why am I climbing? I never asked for that. Let's go ahead and pitch the nose down a bit. Let's drop. Alright, dropping too much. Dropping too much. We want to stay around 3,000. Yeah, no problem. Have uh, have Joshua give me a call. We'll go over a few things, you know. But I, I gotta say, if if Joshua does the trainings that are built into this thing, they're they're pretty cool. Um, all right, there's a plane coming. I'm I'm definitely above it, I believe. I'm trying to avoid that, and then I'll just come right around. There it is. Yeah, it's a little too close uh, for comfort. All right, let's do this. Let's just turn around now. That's a steep bank. No, they are not. Oh, I, I think I see them now. Yep. They're right here, just below us. Right there. It's kind of cool. Alright, I'm... Ooh, banking too much. Yes, I see them. Uh, I do have the Xbox wireless headset. 
Uh, I thought it was a great price for what it does. Bluetooth and uh, connects to the Xbox both at the same time. That's great. No, no, no issues here. I might have banked a little bit too hard, and now I'm also sort of in front of the plane that was below me. Yeah, 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 I'm climbing. Hold on. But yeah, you can connect them to the Xbox and Bluetooth at the same time, so you have your PC also. That That's... Can't, uh, no complaints. Alright, let's engage autopilot. Let's see what you do, Mr. Pilot. All right, I see <laughs> there's like a plane I just cut in front of. Um, all right, let's pull the landing gear down. I'm going to try and land in front of it. I don't even care anymore. Let's just do this. All right, autopilot off. We're going to do approach. Let's try and line this bad boy up. And I'm way too high. But yeah, um... <laughs> I will not, sir. I'm coming in. You better make room. Tell this plane behind me he needs to back up. Because I'm coming in. Can I request, uh... Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Get out of here, autopilot. I am way too high, but let's try this anyway. Oh, you see, it's telling me I'm too fast. Let's try to slow down, slow, 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 slow. Let's turn on the air brake, which I saw somewhere. I already lost it. All right, no air brake. Let's just do this. Retard. Here we go. Watch this butter. Watch me butter that bread. Oh, that was a hard bounce. Can I still... Can I... I made it. Reverse thrusters, come on. Alright, reverse thrusters are on. I'm veering off offline. Why is this not straightening out? Okay, here we go. Straighten out. Straighten out. I think I'm braking so hard that the plane just went off course. All right, we landed. Way to go, team. Good. Yeah, Mr. Proach, I cut him off. All right, how do I get to the gate? Well, stop it. I am like about to crash into every... All right, all right, here we go. I made it. Back up. <laughs> um... Sorry, I missed like 10 different questions. Yes, I will help Joshua. This is actually pretty fun. Uh, and, and I feel like it could inspire a lot of future pilots. Uh, you know. What, what is happening inside this plane right now? Something is weird is happening. Because I'm not controlling this right now. Alright, stop. Can we get to the gate? Let's see. Stop it. Why are you turning? Oh, my gate might be that way. Is that why? Um. <laughs> hey, give me a break. At least I landed. Everyone's still alive. Um, all right. Will it work on um, wireless headset? I have the Xbox headset. Um, it does not connect to the PS5. At least I don't think so. 
It probably won't, no. Although, if you connect it Bluetooth, I'm wondering, but I don't think so. Uh, just to be safe, I'm going to say no. It does not. I'm trying to engage the reverse thrusters to try and back up this plane. Which is not proper uh, protocol. But, I want to back this plane up. Yeah, for some reason it's like moving on its own. I don't know why. Autopilot is off. Approach is off. Everything is off. Why is this thing moving on its own? Alright. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to stop here. I'm going to engage the, uh, the brakes. The engines are shutting off. That's it. They're just going to have to tow this plane back to the gate. Alright, we landed. Yay. That's all I care about. Uh, it took a little longer than I wanted to, but that's that's alright. It's, it's all about having fun and learning. It's a learning experience. Um, so... <laughs> yeah, the air crew, man. Uh, they probably ran out of refreshments by now, so... There it is. Look at that. The flight took almost an hour. From where did I leave from? From Philly? I think I left from Philly. So a routine half hour flight took 54 minutes. I'll take it. You know, my first time actually making it back to the ground. So yay me. Uh, I hope to do another stream of this. Maybe in the future we can tour some actual um, landmarks and things like that. You know, the, the pyramids of Giza, maybe fly under the San Francisco Bridge and things like that. Um, but I need, I definitely need more practice and probably a smaller plane. This was a big boy. Not as big as the biggest one they have, but this one's up there. Uh, so, thank you for those of you that tuned in. Thank you for those of you that are going to watch this later on uh, on YouTube. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with a buddy or two. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for more. Coming up next video I have for you guys um this mic here let me try and get it into the uh that's as far as it's gonna go okay this mic here was sent to me by the fine folks over at fine fine um and uh they asked me to unbox it and review it i've been using it for several weeks now the last couple of videos i've used have been on this mic and i gotta say that i'm loving it so that's gonna be the next video i upload stay tuned um and then we'll we'll do the actual unboxing on screen and i'll show you then so Thank you again. Take care.